on at the end of one, and with me is Bobby Schmott. So the Canucks tied for Vancouver's scoring lead with Thomas Gradin. I would uh, call you comeback player of the year, except I'm not sure you think you've been anywhere to come back from. Well, I moved around an awful lot uh, in the last year and a half, but uh, I'm very happy to be back in Vancouver. Tell us about, uh, maybe an old story for our Vancouver viewers, but it's one that Don Cherry likes to tell. The Boston training camp, the success you had there, and then the, the problems you had uh, sticking with the Bruins and finally ending up in Vancouver. Well, uh, with the trouble, it started with Fred Creighton and myself, and then it was just a matter of I was gone. I ended up with Cherry back in Colorado, and then uh, at the end of the year, I was a free agent. Talked to Harrison, and he said, come back to Boston, uh, show me you can still play, and there'd be no problem in offering you a contract first uh, seven games I had six goals I was leading the club in scoring he called me in Thursday says uh, got some bad news for you not offering you a contract but uh, that's it I'll drop the equalization for you you're free to make your own deal and within, within a couple hours I was on my way to Vancouver now why Vancouver because I understand uh, there were some places you weren't interested in playing well I, I think it was mainly because I think I was ready to retire I said uh, maybe that was time for me to retire I, I gave it a good shot training camp and it didn't seem to do anything for me and I thought, well, okay, that may be it, and I still own my home in Vancouver, and my wife and kids have always liked it, so I thought that's maybe where we'd be retired. But uh, things worked out great for me, and uh, I'm glad to be back in Vancouver. Well, have they worked out great enough so that retirement is not on your mind? Though? I hope so. Uh, like I say, it'll, it'll depend on what the last 15 games go and how playoffs go, and whether or not uh, Vancouver feels they can offer me a contract again, it'll be up to them. Do you get the feeling that uh, contracts, jobs in the NHL are becoming tougher for, I won't say old players, because uh, I, I won't consider you old. If I do, then I'm in the same, uh, in the same shape. But with more 18- and 19-year-olds playing now than, than ever before, does a guy start to get older quicker in, in terms of the way management looks at it? I think so. I think anybody over the age of 27, now 28, they're considered old players. So, And just seeing that I'm over that, I must be considered very old. I mean, I, they call me fossil, so I must be. But uh, no, I just... Uh, I feel you should be rated on what you perform like and uh, treated e you know, equally on that. But uh, I can see where they want to go with the younger players, and they're drafting so young now that they have to put them in. It's no good for them to be down in the farm club, and I think that's causing why the age maybe is dropping so much. Well, your success will uh, cause some people to take a second look at uh, players in their mid-30s, and uh, it is, of course, delighted Don Cherry and many other people, most of them in Vancouver. Thanks, Bob. Thank you very much. Bob Schmatz uh, tied with Thomas Gradine for the scoring lead in Vancouver. Coming up next, uh, the coach's brother, Danny Nikoluk, as the Canucks and the Leafs are tied 1-1.